Hello, Gemini. It's my lady from the Ladies Way Tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 2nd through 9th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a person to read, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up, okay? Other than that, check your sun, moon, and rising signs. So let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini for the week of love week of October 2nd through 9th, 2017? Oh, so it seems like somebody might be taking a trip to be with somebody or maybe moving in with somebody. Or possibly moving out. Alright. But there's definitely some kind of travel going on here. Alright, what's going on with the Gemini love reading for October 2nd through 9th, 2017? Love reading, love reading, love reading. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Sorry, guys. Okay, so it seems like it might be some kind of debate <laughs> over pregnancy. I feel like uh, it could be pregnancy or it could be somebody not wanting to start a new relationship, okay? All right. All right, so it seems like Somebody's getting over not starting a, a new relationship or not having a kid. Mm. Okay, so it seems like. Okay, let me let me clarify. What is this secret card about? Hmm. It sort of makes me feel like somebody has a secret kid. Yeah, I feel like somebody got a secret kid and it's getting ready to come out. But I feel like it's going to be more of a relief that this um, secret about the kid is coming out. Or maybe it could be a new beginning, but I'm really feeling kid. Um, but it's going to be a relief, but it's going it's emo, it's, it's emotionally draining. It's emotionally draining to be had in this secret. So I feel like somebody is either had a kid or pregnancy. Oh, yeah. I think in some cases, you guys are hiding kids. In some kind of cases, you're hiding pregnancies. Okay? And it's it's just becoming to be too much. All right, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Oh, my God. Okay. So, it seems like here, someone may have... Uh, terminated the pregnancy and I feel like maybe the secret came out and now it's emotionally draining because it's like you know you wish the baby was here or somebody is wishing the baby was here everybody's talking about this baby that that never came Okay, so it seems like I don't I don't want to say this, but it seems like somebody may have just been using somebody for gifts, and they ended up getting pregnant. And I feel like it might have been stressing them out for a minute, but it's like they starting to come out of their head about this. But once this secret comes out of what they did, it's gonna be emotionally draining and then I feel like they gonna be wishing that they didn't do what they did they gonna be like 
either over like caring for the children that they have or just like sad about what they could have had with this child. I feel like that's more so for the people who don't have children already. Wow. So it seems like um although it was hard and although this secret came out it still was a wise decision for you to do this for whatever reason. Okay. Okay, so it seems like uh maybe people at your work found out about what happened. I mean, it could even if this was a loss, I feel like it was a forced loss. Like maybe somebody you might have been drinking or uh, just doing drugs or like just doing stuff that puts you in a place to lose it if or them or this could be your partner too. Yeah, but I feel like it was intentional for this to uh this to the for the baby to disappear and I feel like people might be talking about it now. And it's making you sort of regret that remorse is kicking in. All right, so what's going on for the Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. Gemini love reading. Gemini love reading for October 10th. No, October 2nd through 9th, 2017. October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Love reading for Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Mm -mm. Yeah, it seems like somebody was waiting around for something. Wow. So right now, just looking at this card, it seemed like somebody was doing negative stuff, bad stuff to make the baby disappear and it wouldn't disappear. So they took action. Mm. I don't judge. Okay, so it seems like that secret is definitely coming out. But if it, I feel like people knew what, what was going on, but they had no proof. Oh, wow. Okay, so this situation was, I mean, it was planned. I mean, I mean, nobody knows. Nobody knows how you felt. So it's like nobody can judge. All right, so we have the hangman. Reverse. It says... Irresponsibility, low self-esteem, and impatience. Okay. We have the moon, which is frequent mistakes and emotional dilemma. So for some of you, this is not the first time. Okay. And then we have the fool card. Uh, and that's reversed also. Careless, unwilling to listen to others. And then we have the... Ace of Cups. Mm -mm. Ace of Cups says... It's reversed. Um, malice, deceit, confusion, and counterproductive change. Um, uh, that's all I have for you guys. Um, have a great week.